Today, our presentation is going to be about Tesla's battery day. Uh, so this battery day has been pushed back uh, since I think it was supposed to go on in April. And of course, uh, with the whole illness situation, it's been kept on being pushed back. And so now the official date is uh, September, uh, sometime September. I, I, I even forget the official date, uh, but it's going to be uh, in September. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to talk about the battery day news. And uh, this is the first time I'm using this encoder. Uh, so now I can share my screen, screen with you. So I'm going to be able to share my presentation on the screen. Uh, and so that's what we're going to do. So anyways, battery day is uh, pushed back to September. Uh, so Elon Musk has been talking about this battery day, what they're going to do, what they're going to show. Uh, he has said that they're, they're going to show uh, a, a basically a cell production line. Uh, and so why why would why would he say that? Why would he show a cell production line? Uh, I mean, they've been producing Panasonic and LG uh, chem batteries in their facility for the longest time now. So why now uh, did he just say that we're going to show you a cell production line? Because that's what he said, I believe, in in this in the last conference, this conference call. Uh, so you know, the Tesla factory it's it's basically set set into two separate facilities. It has the LG Chem and Panasonic batteries. Uh, they're basically separated, and Tesla has their has their own side of the own side of the factory. So Panasonic produces the batteries, LG Chem produces the batteries, and they have the finished product that they they present to Tesla. Tesla ta then takes it uh, and you know takes the battery and then uh, adds adds their enclosure and you know gets it ready for for their vehicles. So now that he has said that they're going to show you this new this cell production line. So Obviously, it's going to be something new. Uh, they they had this Pan Panasonic production line for the longest time, you know, before, and he's never showed it to anybody. It was never an issue, never a thing. So now he said they're going to show a new a, a cell production line. So Tesla uh, acquires Maxwell Technologies. This was more than a year ago, May of 2019. They officially acquired Maxwell Technologies. So Maxwell Technologies is a small company in San Diego. Uh, they were researching. Uh, supercapacitors, but when they were researching supercapacitors, uh, they stumbled upon a technology uh, where they could manufacture battery cells uh, more efficiently and and more cheaply, uh, and it was called dry electrode. Uh, so basically, see, so they 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 wrote an article about this. So this is their dried uh, dry electrode coating technology, uh, and so in this abstract, oh, I'm sorry. So the abstract here, Maxwell Technologies uh, has developed. Uh, a scalable for classic for classical and advanced battery chemistry. Unlike conventional slurry cast wet coated electrodes, Maxwell's DBE, the dry battery electrode, offers significant high loading and pursue and produces a thick electrode that allows for high energy density cells. Uh, without compromising physical properties and electrochemical performance, Maxwell DBEs exhibits better discharge rate. They they come they stumble upon this this technology, dry electrode technology. So this next slide, it shows you this is how uh, batteries are made currently. Lithium ion batteries are made currently. Uh, so it's, it's used, they use a wet slurry. Uh, so in this, pic, in this diagram, they're showing uh, a solvent and a binder being put together and it's mixed. Uh, and so this lithium ion battery is made uh, with this liquid. In this particular slide, it's showing you the differences between uh, water and this NMP material. So the NMP material is is more hazardous, and so uh, whether you use this NMP material or water, uh, you coat. You, it needs to be coated, uh, and then it needs to be dried in the oven. So these ovens are massive, and they they obviously use a lot of electricity, a lot of power uh, for these ovens, and they're massive. They take off. They take up like a, a big portion of the factory. Uh, so this is how they're currently producing lithium-ion batteries using this wet slurry. So what Maxwell Technologies uh, developed was this dry electrode technology. And basically, you don't need to use the slurry anymore. If you don't need to make, use a slurry, number one, you don't need to have these chemicals and you don't have to have this drying process. So the drying process is, you know, takes up a lot of energy and a lot of space. Uh, so if you get rid of this, then you could save a lot of time, effort, and money if you don't need to use a wet slurry. And so that is what uh, Maxwell technology is and that's what that is why Tesla purchased Maxwell technologies for this for this dry electro technology and so Maxwell technologies uh, they were a publicly traded company and therefore uh, they had all this presentation available for everybody to see before uh, Tesla you know bought them out and basically uh, took everything up, up, down from their website uh, but you know all, all, all of it is still available online so you could just kind of search this uh, in Maxwell dry electrode technology. So basically, 
it is a higher energy the battery is higher and a higher density uh, so greater than 300 watt hours per kilogram uh, demonstrated up to 500 watt hours per, per excuse me per kilogram so it extends uh, battery life up to two times extending battery life up to two times so two times what is tesla's battery currently today even with their current batteries that they're producing today and that are in their vehicles today they're rated anywhere for between 300 and 500 thousand miles so that is how we get that million mile battery because this new battery is going to be two times uh, the lifespan of the current battery and again the current battery is three to five hundred thousand miles so that is where you get this 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 rumored one million mile battery so that's what it is two times of what tesla's battery is right now cost reduction is going to be cost re reduction up to 20 percent plus cost reduction uh, for the for this dry electro battery versus their wet electro battery uh, I, I kind of explained that because you basically you get rid of a big step in producing these batteries is using a wet slurry so that is completely eliminated and so you could just skip that step it skips a lot of time uh, and a lot of money so this is maxwell's technology so there was a, a tweet uh you know back when this happened uh so uh, for reference on the bottom there for reference uh 500 watt hours per kilogram would give the model 3 approximately a 900 mile range just think about that 900 miles that's more than any any uh gas vehicle currently you know average gas vehicles gets anywhere from 300 to 400 uh you mean like a a honda accord gets about 400 miles currently today in the 2020 honda accord so think about that 900 miles on one single charge so uh, this new battery technology would be able to pretty much destroy anything out, anything that's on the market right now. So they wouldn't do this, obviously, because nobody needs a 900 mile battery, and that's just wasted battery. So uh, he goes on to say, you know, uh, sure that that's nutty that they're not going to do that. They they would just make a smaller pack uh, for cars and then reduce reduce the price, reduce the the cost of the car, and reduce the weight of the car. Uh, so, but why why would they need such a huge battery you know obviously not for the model 3 but they would need it for something else like the cyber truck you know a bigger heavier truck and the tesla semi you know a bigger heavier truck so uh some benefits of maxwell's dry battery technology that we're just gonna read over the highlight stuff so maxwell's dry battery technology might increase energy density by at least 20 to 30 percent so if you increase energy density by 20 to 30 percent uh, you you could essentially eliminate 20 to 30 percent of the batteries that are that currently need to be in the vehicle so that's 20 20 to 30 percent less battery but you have the same energy density so with this new battery you're going to have weight reduction you're going to have cost reduction but you're not going to lose uh, any of the range it's going to be the same range you just remove 20 percent of the batteries but you have still the same 20 percent gained by this new battery technology Number two, consumers could see an increase in charging speed. So you're going to be able to charge faster. You know, right now it probably takes anywhere from uh, 30 minutes probably from on a level three supercharger, anywhere from 30 to maybe 40, 45 minutes. Uh, so you could re reduce that time into probably 15, 20 minutes uh, for a charge on a, on a level three supercharger. And number three, building battery packs would be cheaper. So like I said before, yeah, you're going you're to reduce a lot of cost by using this dry battery technology. So again, what which one of their vehicles do they need this battery they need a massive amount of batteries but they don't want extra weight the tesla semi tesla cybertruck the roadster these are the batteries that's these are the new batteries that's going to go into their next generation vehicles uh and their big big heavyweight vehicles so elon musk in the beginning of june in the beginning of june had this email uh it was a leaked email and so it's, it's out on the internet everywhere uh, so it's time to go all out and bring the tesla semi to volume production it's been in limited production so far which allowed us to improve many aspects of the design production of the battery and powertrain uh would take place at giga nevada uh, with most of the other work probably occurring in other states jerome and i are very excited to work with you to bring this amazing product to market so this was uh, just in June that this email leaked. And when I say leaked, you know, Elon Musk knows that this email is going to get out to the press. So in a way, uh, he just sends these emails. And I mean, he's, it's not like they're trying to hide this from anybody. Everybody knows and could, could kind of draw these conclusions. So why, why right now do they release this? Are they starting production of the semi truck? Well, number one is because there's more, uh, more competition coming. You know, 
Uh, they see a competition coming in, quote unquote, Nikola, if that is true competition. Uh, but there's there's people sort of starting to get into this space, uh, getting into the trucking space, getting into building you know pickup trucks and whatnot. Uh, so the, the, that kind of wants they want to speed things up, but also they needed the batteries. They need the batteries for their Model 3 ramp up for their Model Y. They did not have enough batteries. So they're not going to you know, stick uh, all the batteries that they could produce into a semi truck and then not have enough batteries for their Model 3 ramp for their Model Y ramp. So that's why they never they never moved forward with the Tesla semi because they were battery constrained. And, that, and, and, and that's the only thing. But now with this new battery technology, uh, they're going to be able to cut 20 to 30% uh, of the batteries that they need for their model for their other vehicles, and they were gonna they're gonna have a lot more batteries, and that's gonna solve their battery constraint. So it's gonna go into their Plaid Model S. You know, their highest of high ends, of course, is gonna get this new battery. Uh, it's gonna go into the Roadster. Uh, the Roadster. Look at this, 620 mile range. They're, they can't get 620 mile range on their current battery. Uh, they're 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 pushing 400, I think it's 402 miles on uh, the, the, the lo longest range Model S right now. The Model S, uh, that's their, their top vehicle that could push the, the furthest range, and that's uh, 402 miles uh, EPA tested. So now we're looking at 620 miles on the Roadster. How do they get that number? Definitely not with their current battery, right? They had to get that number because they already knew they had this battery in the works. They knew that they could get 620 miles, and Tesla always understates their numbers. 620 miles is probably closer to 650 miles. That is with their new Maxwell te Maxwell technology battery. So uh, that is you know that is what I am thinking, and, and you know everything just adds up. And by the way, look at this thing. Damn, this car is hot. I mean, you just look at it and you know that thing's fast. So, anyways, so let's move on. So currently, Tesla's battery cost. Uh, have you know have declined from around two hundred and thirty uh, dollars per kilowatt hour in two thousand sixteen uh, down to one hundred and twenty seven uh, dollars per kilowatt hour in twenty nineteen. Uh, so that is twenty nineteen. Now, Electric uh, had this article out. One hundred dollars per kilowatt hour has been described as the target price for batteries to enable uh, electric vehicles to reach a price parity with gasoline vehicles without subsidies. If combined with mass production, uh, it's considered the holy grail of EV adoption uh, since it would enable high volume production and relatively affordable and high margin electric vehicles. So that is what it is. $100 is the magic number, the holy grail. So in 2019, they got up to uh, $127. In 2020, if you look at that graph on the left, uh, they got it down to $114 uh, per kilowatt hours. So one hundred and fourteen dollars for uh, per kilowatt hour and with this new battery technology that is where they're going to get it under one hundred dollars per kilowatt hour and so that is game over that is that is the time when you look at a tesla vehicle and you look at a gas vehicle for the same exact price Wh which one are you going to buy that's what it's going to come down to when th when tesla releases this battery and they bring down the cost to be comparable to a, a, a gasoline vehicle. It's going to be game over. No one. The only reason a lot of people don't buy Tesla is because it's too expensive. That's basically the reason. That's probably like 80 to 90% of the reason. Uh, other reasons might be they're just they're just afraid of the range, right? Uh, but most of the reason is it's just too, too expensive. I mean, I mean, even the Model 3 uh, starts at about 38, 39. If you, you know, add it, add some accessories, it's, it's, you're looking at a $40,000 vehicle. So when you could get the battery down to on par with gasoline vehicles, that's when it's going to be game over. All right, so Tesla has these uh, these job postings out. Material batteries uh, module engineer. So that just is just more evidence that Tesla is uh, looking to have their own battery cell production line. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna still have Panasonic and LG Chem batteries, but excuse me. But on their high-end vehicles, on their Plaid Model S, on their Roadster, on their Cybertruck, on their Semi, they're going to be using their own battery that they have from Maxwell Technologies. Uh, and that's why they're hiring materials and en engineers uh, for, their, for, their battery, for the battery cell production line. So guys, that is my full presentation about uh, Tesla's battery. 
and uh, what what they're all what it's all about, what what they're going to announce uh, on Battery Day. So this kind of that's that's my presentation. So thank you guys for watching, subscribing, give me a thumbs up. Catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>